Thank you. Um, video link, Rashinara Ali. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Time and again during this pandemic, the government's incompetence has cost lives. It has been too slow to lock down, too slow to build an effective test and trace system, and too slow to secure our borders. And despite the UK tragically passing the COVID death toll of over 100,000 people, the highest in Europe, the government is still yet to learn the lessons. We must make sure our borders are secure with a comprehensive hotel quarantine system for all arrivals to the UK. That's why I support our quarantine system for all arrivals to the UK. That's why I support today's motion. The government has been uh, belatedly introduced a partial quarantine. Deputy Speaker, we need a hotel quarantine regime that goes further and covers all countries. The police force is stretched and lacks the capacity to check uh, that travellers are quarantining at home. Since quarantine requirements were introduced on the 8th of June, only 332 fines have been issued in England to travellers uh, failing to self-isolate. And in November, Sky, last November, Sky reported that the police took no action against 1,400 uh, overseas travellers who may have broken quarantine rules. That just goes to show the challenge that the police force face in enforcement action without a quarantine effective or a quarantine system. We need to learn from other countries in how they tackled the pandemic and how they've managed to reduce the infection rates and save lives, ranging from Australia, New Zealand, Taiwan, Singapore and Vietnam. And even in developing countries, they've got a more effective quarantine system using hotels and other facilities. So the idea that we can't do this, we don't have the resources, is ridiculous as, uh, and needs to be addressed. And what we also know, as many other honourable members have stated, is that there are new variants that put the vaccination effort at risk. This month, the Health Secretary said the new variant that I really worry about is the one that's out there, but hasn't been spotted. Our biggest defence to these new variants is strict border controls throughout through hotel quarantine regimes that, that are effective. Madam Deputy Speaker, throughout this crisis, the government has been one step behind. It's time it took the advice of the chief scientist when he says the lesson is go early, uh, go earlier uh, and uh, act fast. Uh, so it's vital that in order to protect the vaccination programme we've set up, uh, that we ensure our borders are secure. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to the scientists, the innovators, the NHS workers and all the volunteers who are vaccinating the population right now. We cannot afford for that work to be undermined by not securing our borders uh, and undermining that effort. The government must act. They should adopt this motion. That's why I support this motion. Thank you.